guys, we're going to make an easy lentil loaf today. Sorry about the fan, but um, yes, we're going to make a lazy, uh, lazy, easy lentil loaf today. And I've got everything already laid out, so this is going to be a super quick video. So, are you ready? I've got, ooh, it's hot. I've got one cup of green lentils and a half a cup of red lentils that I have just boiled and they're softened and I added some salt and pepper and a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Next, I have a half onion. You want one pepper of choice. It could be a red pepper, green pepper. I picked a half of a yellow pepper and a half of a green pepper. A uh, half an onion, let's see, and then I did like one carrot. Shredded those up, I mean, cut them up really finely in my food processor and saute these with salt and pepper with veggie broth. Now, you don't have to do all this. You could add your peppers, your onions to the lentils and let them all boil together. But because we're not using meat in this recipe, we want to make sure that we get as much flavor as we possibly can. Next, I have this Yeah. About a fourth a cup of ketchup, three fourth cup of oat flour, and then one flax egg. So we're just going to combine all this together. We're going to put it in a loaf, bake it, and then we're done. It's that simple and that quick. Okay, so, one cup of green lentils and a half a cup of red lentils that I cooked with some salt and pepper and one tablespoon of nutrition yeast. That's going to go in my bowl. Okay? Then I have peppers, onions, and carrots that I sauteed with salt and pepper and veggie broth. That's going to go in there together I'm probably gonna have to get my hands in here eventually so you just want to season each layer of the dish with seasoning salt and pepper you can add some Italian seasoning in here all the list of ingredients will be set out for you guys and I'll have a written recipe at in the description box so go and click on the description box click show more and you will see the whole recipe right now for those of you guys who can't find it now I'm gonna put in one flax egg just mix that in here. Then I'm going to add in about three fourth cups of oat flour. So oat flour is just ground oats. That's it. So it's a really whole food, plant-based flour. Very simple, gluten-free, of course, and just super great to work with. Just mixing all this in. It's going to be full of flavor. And I know that when you genuinely think of you know dishes like this, you genuinely think of having some type of meat in it, but for those guys who can't have meat, and because I don't eat a lot of meat nowadays, in fact, I haven't ate meat for quite a while, um, it's good to have dishes like this if you're vegetarian, or if you just want to skip out on the meat that week and still make a delicious dish, you can do it. It's possible. So I'm just going to mix all this together. I'm just going to eyeball it, and you can look at it, and you can see if it needs a little more flour, so I'll probably Let's say do about a cup of oat flour but just kind of eyeball it and you'll kind of see and feel free to add more salt and pepper i'm going to add in a bit of cayenne just to give a little bit of spice and let me let me wash my hands so i can go in with clean hands and put this in the loaf pan okay so i'm just going to pour the mixture in my dish. Okay. Then we're going to put some additional ketchup, whatever ketchup or barbecue sauce that you have. We're going to put that on top of it. We're making a lentil loaf, but I decided to use this pan. It doesn't look too appetizing now, but I promise you it's going to be super delicious. Trust me. All right. So I'm going to put this in the oven and then midway through I'm going to spread a small layer of ketchup on top and then let it finish cooking. I think I'm going to bake this for about 30 minutes and then it should be set. Okay? And then we'll put the barbecue sauce or either ketchup sauce on it. It's cool. No. Oh. And then uh, I'll show you guys how it looks. This is my dinner. It's Saturday. And actually did me, I uh, had me a good walk this morning and a little bit of a jog. Um, I don't really jog that much. I'm more of a fast runner. So like I, I can sprint and I can like run off real fast, but when it comes to 
long distance running, the endurance is something I have to work on because I don't have a lot of endurance. My brother does, he's standing behind the camera. He has a uh, long endurance. He runs every week, a couple times a week. But I try to walk a couple times a week and that's just about what I do. Um, and I do that because I sit down at a job all day, every single day, and I feel like I have to get up and do some type of walking. So I would encourage you, if you have a sit down job, guys, to get some type of activity in at least a couple times a week because it's great for your health. Not to mention weight loss, but it's great for your health. Your body, in order to be healthy and to function right, needs everything moving through. Um, Okay guys, the lentil loaf is done. I'm taking out a piece right now. So the lentil loaf is done. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? I've already tasted a little bit of it. I have to say that like this. I have to say that it's really good. It's really good. It's probably my favorite veggie meatloaf. Mmm. I think I like this even better than the bean one. I mean, than the black bean one. Mmm. Guys, the black bean one is pretty good too. Guys, whether you're a meat eater and you just want a break from meatloaf, this is the best meatless loaf you will ever taste, guys. Seriously, lentils just hit the spot for the craving of meatloaf. So, whatever your dietary preferences are, I think you'll love this recipe. I hope you'll try it. And until next time, bon appetit.